Welcome to another edition of TechCast. Our guest today is Bernard Monta, Technical Director and Security Strategist at Tenable Mayor. Welcome, Bernard. Thank you. Bernard, now we're talking of the age of AI. So as IT and OT networks come together and the attack surface creeps growing, what is the best way for organizations to get full visibility across both environments? So thank you for the because this is a very important question. You know, um, the visibility is a key element here. Uh, we can protect what we don't know. Okay. And, um, you know, having assets in the OT systems, in the IT environment, the IT and OT convergence, which is obviously a subject we are talking about for many years now. But if you add on top of that IoT devices, right. connections to the cloud, identity, which is a key of everything, then the attack surface, as you just mentioned, is, you know, growing highly fragmented. We need visibility. The answer right. of that yeah. is exposure management, you know, right. being able to see everything right. and understand the exposures and reduce the risk of exposure within the attack surface. Absolutely. Now, how is Tenable embedding AI into its exposure management platform and how are your products helping CISOs gauge and measure the business outcomes so that they can take smart decisions? I think like everyone, we are using AI. <laughs> Right. Um, we started using AI, uh, you know, a long time ago, uh, right. you know, far before the Gen AI generation, I mm. would say, you know, uh, AI is machine learning, deep learning. Uh, first of all, we introduce such kind of technology uh, when we start to do risk based vulnerability management. What it is, we have to take decision. We have to define and decide on prioritizations. And that is based on risk, risk is AI today. Uh, we are using the capacity to understand the impact of a specific vulnerability or set of vulnerabilities. Right, right. But obviously we didn't only did mm, that, mm. you know, we also are using Gen AI right. uh, in our own systems to help security practitioners to go quicker mm. understanding attack path, understanding toxic combinations and understanding complexity from an exposure standpoint. Right. Within Tenable One Exposure Management Platform, we introduced our own LLM that is really helping security practitioners right. to go quicker understanding exposures. Absolutely. Now, and with um, more companies adopting tools like Gemini, Copilot and ChatGPT, what practical steps do you think can CISOs take to safeguard sensitive data shared with AI systems? Oh, they can use tenable AI exposures. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what it is. <laughs> so we have acquired a company uh, this year uh, right. covering exactly that use case. You know, uh. chat, GPT, Copilot, Gemini, all of them, the chatbots and Gen AI. It's an opportunity for organizations, right. but this is also a risk. OWASP has classified the top 10 risk on Gen AI. Right. The top one is prompt injection. This is a use case we are covering. We also are covering data poisoning. What it is, mm. is the fact that if an attacker can compromise your system and access to uh, your Gen AI project, they can change the data. One of the key use cases as well is, you know, uh, data that has been passed or leaked or, you know, mm. employees that are not really following the policy of, uh, you know, the AI uh, right. policy that has right. been raised. With AI exposure, we are covering that. This is policy-based. You know, if you say, for example, your employees shouldn't send an Excel spreadsheet right. to, a, to a chat boat, we mm. can detect that and reduce that exposure. That will be part, obviously, to our Tenable One exposure management platform. Right. That brings me to another interesting question. What do you think are some of the significant cyber threats that organizations are facing today? So the top one is still cyber criminals. Mm. Uh, they are really leading the race. Uh, but what is different is the different kind of uh, combination, combination mm. between, uh, you know, ransomwares and phishing attacks and social engineering. Linking that back to mm -hmm. AI again. We talked about how AI can help, you know, the cyber defense, but obviously the attackers are also using AI. So cyber criminals, which are still leading the race, are using AI technologies to develop their malwares and develop their phishing attacks quicker. 
Uh, we also have, you know, any kind of other threats. Uh, the threat landscape is, is big. What we see as a trend is the convergence of all, all of the threats together. There is some sharing tools. You know, the dark web is not siloed. So cyber criminals and any kind of other kind of threats we can see here and there are sharing the technology. So what is important for us is not who, mm. but how they do it. And the way they do it, right. there is only three ways to compromise the system. Mm. Through an existing vulnerabilities, mm. vulnerability, through a misconfiguration, right. or through an identity with a lot of privileges. Right. So right. that is what we are looking after at Tenable. Right. Uh, now let's come to Jitex. How has it been so far and what's uh, the spotlight for uh, Tenable? Jitex is the place to be. You know, uh, there are dedicated, um, you know, cyber security industry events, uh, but Jitex is so big. But what is important is to f the cyber security has found the place within the high tech industry. And then that is very important because then this is a way that decision makers can see that cybersecurity is not just a technical, uh, let's say, a purpose or a technical space for only tech people. Right. Decision makers need to take care of that as well. Right. Business decision need to, to, to be done, including cybersecurity. The business risk need to be linked to the technical risk. Right. And right. that's why, you know, having a very important hole in JITEX only on cybersecurity that is in fact linking the rest of the IT, the rest of the ITech to cybersecurity. Absolutely. Uh, that's, that was a very um, uh, comprehensive view of, you know, cybersecurity and Tenable's uh, focus and JITEX. So that was an interesting conversation. Thank you so much for the insights. Barbara. Thank you so much as well. Thank you.